Mass shootings at schools and churches and workplaces, everybody agrees they are all too commonplace today. And if not 100% preventable, we probably can do a better job. And that's where Newtown's police chief comes in. He is in the forefront of trying to change a state law that could make you and your family safer. Local 12's Anjanette Levy joins us now. She is live in Newtown with what's in the works. Anjanette. Well, Cammie, right now, Newtown's police chief says someone could threaten to shoot up this building, and there's not much he can do about it. So he's been working with state legislators to change the state's menacing law so businesses and other entities can be considered victims and get some protection. Things can be pretty quiet in Newtown, but a couple of years ago, police chief Tom Sinan said the village avoided a mass shooting at a business. And when we first responded to it, we, we knew it was a mental health issue, and that's the way we handled it. A disgruntled employee authored a rambling manifesto where he outlined his plan. He was seen with a gun near the business and was charged with menacing. But the case was dismissed because the threats were made to a business, not a specific person. Because of that, there was little police could do. But a bill in the Ohio legislature would change that. So this law will allow government entities, churches, schools, businesses to file protection orders, both civil and criminal, and file criminal charges, they will now be looked at as a victim. There have been 14 mass shootings since the school shooting in Newtown, Connecticut. Changing Ohio's menacing law would give police the ability to take a person's guns temporarily, hopefully preventing a massacre. A judge could order mental health treatment. <laughs> Meridian Bioscience in Newtown hasn't received threats, but CEO Jack Kreitler believes the law change is logical. This is critically important because when an individual leaves here, their anger might be targeted at an employee, but it could also be targeted towards the business. Where employees or customers could be harmed, Chief Sinan believes changing the menacing law will keep people safe. Maybe this is one tool that allows a department, a business, a church, a school, a government entity to step in and stop an actual violent event. Newtown police worked with the FBI and the ATF on this case. This person was eventually declared mentally ill after a lengthy court fight and his guns were taken away permanently. His status is monitored to this day. Reporting live in Newtown, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cammie. All right, Anjanette, thank you. And the bill passed in the Ohio House. It is back in the Senate where some changes will be debated and it's expected to pass this summer. We're